folks here in the South love iced tea, whether it's sweet, unsweet, or half and half. The Southern staple is a favorite for many, but as Fox 6 video journalist Brittany McAlpin shows you, watching how much tea you consume can cause damage to your health. Refreshingly Southern, with a taste that some just can't get enough of. They drink it by the courts, they drink it half and half, they drink it anyway. But there's something about tea that doctors say people should know. If you drink uh, too much tea, then you're uh, increasing your risk for forming kidney stone. Well, the problem with tea and kidney stones is for those who are stone formers, the roughly 10% of patients who have a tendency to form stones and it tends to run in families. For those folks, uh, iced tea, uh, black tea, tea in uh, really any kind of form uh, poses a risk because of its high oxalate content. Oxalate is a naturally occurring chemical found in tea leaves that inhibits the body's absorption of calcium, causing stones to form in the kidney or ureter. When this stone uh, drops down into the ureter or the tube that leads from the kidney to the bladder, it can block the passage of urine, which can lead to intense pain. Oh, I tell you, they hurt. Herbert Brock knows he's had kidney stones off and on for years. Just a little bit. His doctor told him to cut back on the sweet tea. He took, analyzed the uh, kidney stone and said it was uh, coming from sweet tea, soft drinks, um, calcium. But Herbert says nothing can stop his love for this southern staple. I don't mean you to quit it. You just, you know, you just cut down some on it. Dr. Hammondtree agrees. Now, tea in and of itself is, has other health benefits, and for the population that is not at risk for kidney stones, there's nothing wrong with enjoying uh, good old sweet tea. For today's Health Minute, I'm Brittany McAlpin, Fox 6 News on your side.